hello everyone and we are back streaming as high school uni my 100 percent series first time coming back to this game since i encountered trolls for the first time hopefully this stream will go differently right. so uh i do kind of we are gonna open up with doing some uh pretty much and all i know that this entire stream is gonna be all side quests but and all collectibles, but we are going to start with doing the uh, he new Helix Red things again, those completed. But one thing I do want to point out is that I actually found out that there is collectibles, artifacts to collect in uh, the Occupied Paris missions. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, just give me one sec, I need to adjust something. Hey Antonio, uh, doing pretty good. Just uh... Excited to get back into this game But I, I was gonna show off that there is collectibles found in the The helix missions and that is actually in the occupied Paris section Three artifacts for each mission and I will be getting every single one of them. I do not know exactly where they are so I will be using a uh, guide to find them I'm gonna change my gear loadout real quick Yeah, let's go ahead and fast travel right here. Before we get things started, I actually do need to, uh, a chest. Well, I don't really care about chests. I have more than enough money. I need to stop by the store and get some uh, resupply. Well, well, well. Another fluted old woman. You've got a lot of nerve wandering around this neighborhood. <laughs> oh. oh. I am, uh... Really kind of curious. I feel like that it won't, probably won't be very long before we finish uh, Assassin's Creed Union, like the main story. But I'm actually going to be curious how long it will take for me to actually 100% this game. Oh, there's only two Assassin Intel in this. Okay. I think this data could really help us. Thank God, like, it's not like, uh, it's not like 
completely undetected to thing. Like, you, there's room to screw up. Okay, let's go ahead and try and... clear out the rest of the stuff. We got one intel. It seems like that all we'll get, like, as for a bonus, is additional money. So we're gonna play again, and uh, we are going to try and find the other uh, thing. So I'm actually gonna pause the game and look up a guide. Pull up the guide for it, because I don't know where the other ones are. Sorry about that. Okay, so it looks like I go straight. Drop down, and it's right there. Okay, that's easy. Wait, this is different. There's no thing here. Wow, this should make our researchers very happy. Good job. The more data we can get, the better. this thing is like I kind of got to turn around I'm just gonna pull up that video again I think what happened is, uh, I think what happened is there's no guarantee that the artifacts will be in the same spot, maybe. So I'm going to try and go to the location of the third one. Which is over here. Okay, so let's try and go to this third one.
this should come in useful. Okay. Not much time now. This data comes from deep within the helix. Well done. See if we can finish off strong. Good. We have enough data to trace our man's position. You found him. You've done it. Good. Hey, there you go. You got an achievement, Thawd. Bring uh, ten trapped assassins. Another assassin lives thanks to you. Enjoy the reward. Let's play it again and try and get that third and final artifact, which should be on the left. We thought we'd lost this assassin for good. His life is in your hands now. Find him. Good job. The more data we can get, the better. Uh, restart memory. I don't know why it's not here. It should be here. Like every other location on this guy was correct. The more data you can collect, the better your report. The assassin is more important. Data received. Great find. Yeah, I don't know. Like this uh, collectible location isn't actually here. Let me try and exit the memory. I'll try going back in. Oh, we got a collectible here. and try to collect the data he found. Yeah, yep, there it is. Good. Our text will start analyzing the data right away. Wow. This should make our research... And now we're just going to finish this just uh, for completion's sake because I don't know if it'll say... I just quit out. Probably will, but I'm just gonna be careful. This should come in useful. I am legitimately curious. I've been thinking back to that thing that I spotted when I was in the uh, thing, and how there was collectibles in quote unquote the Middle Ages. I wonder if we can actually go back to the Middle Ages in the Dead Kings DLC.
Hold on. Hello, hello, it's working, good. For some reason it wasn't capturing my audio. I don't know how long it was like that, but I just kind of noticed that my Elgato wasn't, ca my uh, OBS wasn't capturing my voice, so I had to just fix it. Uh, I was, I was saying that I'm legitimately, I, I just noticed that in, uh... Nicely done. We I've been able to pinpoint our agent's location. I noticed that, uh... I can't think. But I was looking at the, uh, uh, He's out of the Good work. But I was looking at the collectible thing that there was artifacts to be gained and the uh, location uh, labeled as Middle Ages. And you can actually go to the Middle Ages of the prologue of this game, but I don't know if that means that, uh, I don't know if that means that, uh, uh, there was like a uh, like there's sort of like the memory thing, sort of like the World War One memory uh, thing you can access in uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, where you can just go back and explore the Middle Ages, or if uh, or if it's just like something that is just only available like after you beat the game. I just don't know like which one it is. It looks like we're doing data harvest first. data you can collect, the better your reward. But the assassin is more important. Another piece of the puzzle. Well done. Wait a second. This one's encrypted. Excellent. This could hold some major Abstergo secrets. Hold on. Decrypting. Okay, so there was actually one on the tail fin of that, but it's not there now, so. And try and pull out that video. Uh, it's actually a pretty big map. Yeah, well, there's the other one. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of a track. Sending the data to the lab now. Of one thing I, uh, well there's another one one thing I wasn't actually intending to get but it's there regardless nicely done we need all the data we can find yeah let's say this one isn't here
I hear biplanes. I hope they won't try and shoot at me like in that uh, escape thing. Another piece of the puzzle. Well done. You don't have much time left. Triangulated. Oh no. Alright, you're fine. We're going up this way. This should come in useful. Operative located. The agent has been recovered. Very good. There we go. There's more assassins to save and more data to find. Yeah, let's uh, play it again. See if we can get the other two locations. I know exactly where they are. The more data you can collect, the better your reward. But the assassin is more important. This should come in useful. This one's encrypted. Wait. Great find. Okay, well, this one isn't here. Let's uh, go to the other side. See if we can find the other location. Hold on a second. I need to decrypt it. The fact that that artifact is there kind of makes me worried about this artifact being here. The one that I'm going to right now, not this one. Good job. The more data we can get, the better. This one's encrypted. Wait. out here. Hold on a second. I need to decrypt it. Sending the data to the lab now. I don't know why artifacts don't spawn when they're supposed to. I think that's because the locations aren't resetting. Because I'm not like X company X or anything, I'm just restarting things, so it's possible that I may be saving the same okay. layout. We have our agent's location. So I'm gonna exit from the helix and load back in again and see if I can get the other two artifacts. There he is. The agent's been recovered. Very good. You don't have much time left. You performed a great service for the Brotherhood, but others still need your help. Okay, let's go back to the helix and we will load from the uh, main area. Uh, thank you for the uh, raid, uh, Sato Kenzo. Really do appreciate it. Wow. First raid I had in a while, and I think I just got a follow. Wow. Thanks a lot. Uh, Honky Chan. I got turned around. Hi, Reka Na uh, Ka Yahoo. Yes. Th wow, thank you for the follow. Wow. Really do appreciate the support, guys. Every little bit of support is greatly appreciated. This one's encrypted. Wait. Now, is that... Yes, finally the artifact is there. Okay, let's see if the other artifact is where it's supposed to be. Wait a second. This one's encrypted.
Thank you for the follow, uh, Simon Prisrock. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, I, for those curious, there's not going to be any story progression. I've already just completed a sequence last stream, so I'm really just going to try and like, do a bunch of side activities, try and clear out a district before I uh, consider doing a story mission again. It's how I like to handle this. Looks like that is not here, so let's just go ahead and uh, finish this location and we will exit the helix and try to load again. Excellent. This could hold some major upstairs secrets. I think it's actually been like a few years since I actually had a raid, so this actually is kind of an interesting experience to me so once again like really do appreciate it guys but I apologize one of my main mistakes when I first started streaming is I often try to communicate more with the audience whenever I know that people are watching I suddenly that actually I had to like learn to try and not do because I kind of made things like more about them rather than communicate with talking about the game so that's just something that I had to like learn do better as so I'm up Great. well done okay let's uh quit out and we will load back done. in our agents are never safe in the helix though so help them when you can literally you just need one more artifact and it's not spawning I know exactly where it is, it just needs to spawn. The more data you can collect, the better your reward. But the assassin is more important too. Okay, let's just make a beeline for it. Sending the data to the lab now. Funny how says I'm in the temple district. I don't think that this is the temple district. here and it's not here let's just uh quit to the main menu and we will uh try to load it back in it's not spawning it should be there let me go back to this video real quick yeah it should be on the side of that thing There's three artifacts found in every single of the second half of these uh, rift missions, and I can't get the third one to spawn. Try this again. Well, we do have a different layout, so maybe this will time will be different. This should come in useful. No, nope. well, I'm just gonna go to the other side just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's on this fan. Wow, the 
should make our Yeah, it's not here. Happy. It's not spawning where it's supposed to be. Let's just quit out and we'll try again. Literally just missing one artifact in this mission and it's not spawning. And what's so hard about making freaking artifacts always there and just static? Like, why do they have different layouts where some artifacts spawn and some don't? We thought we'd lost this assassin for good. His life is in your hands now. Find him. Hey, let's try this again. Maybe you'll get lucky. Send the data to the lab now. I'm actually gonna see if I can a different route. Still not here. What the heck is going on? Why is this artifact not spawning? This should come in useful. Go to the other side just in case, but it's not Wait, it should be here. This data comes from deep within the helix. Well done. I I don't understand like, what's going on. Like it's not spawning where it's supposed to be. Crash again. Like, it should be spawning, and it's not. So I'm actually gonna run an experiment and actually try and just complete this round and see if it just spawns like, once we complete it. Like, maybe that will affect it. I don't know. But it already makes no sense, like, why it's not completing this, why it's not spawning when it's supposed to. So we're just gonna complete this round and see if it works then. But it should be here. It should be on that back fin back right fin of that blimp. And it's not, which is really frustrating. Excellent. This could hold some major observer secrets. It's not here. So we're just gonna complete this round and uh, Wait, we'll see if that affects it. I don't think it will, but just willing to try anything because I'm tired of restarting this mission. I just want to just get this done. Let's hope that contains something valuable. Yeah, it's not here. It's I, I don't know where the heck this thing is. Like why it's not spawning? I suppose to. This data comes from deep within the helix. Well done. Almost done with this uh, round, and we'll see if completing this actually affects anything. I can, like, I don't think it will. But I'm not going to try anything. Our agent's location. There he is. Done it. Good. Quick. Time is running out. A job Try this again. Our agents are never safe in the Helix, though. So help them when you can. I was gonna completely quit out and I'll load back in and see if that affects anything. I again like I don't think it will, but we'll, I'm trying anything. I just wanted to get this last artifact and try to complete this last uh, helix rift. We still have one more to do with three artifacts to find and it's just not making it easy. We thought we'd lost this assassin for good. His life is in your hands now. Find him. Nicely done. We need all the data we can find. In my opinion, like these Helix memories 
they were interesting when it started, when I first started playing them, but they're constantly just getting old. I don't remember that being there, that's interesting. They're constantly just getting old, like at this point, so I just, I really just can't wait until I'm actually done with this. Sending the data to the lab now. Not here! What the heck? Wow, this should make our researchers very happy. Wait a second, this one's encrypted. It should be on this back fin and it's not here. It's just quit out and try again. I don't understand like, why this artifact's not spawning. Let me go back to this video just to make sure that I'm actually in the right spot. Yeah, it should be right back there. Go back to, uh... So where this thing should be is right here, right where this, like, brown spot is, and it's not where it's supposed to be. I don't know why this artifact is not spawning, but... Guess we can try restarting the memory. See if that affects it. I don't think it will. Goalie being a completionist. And try to collect the data he found. Data received. Not here. I don't know why this thing is this spawning. Uh, it's deep. just quit out. I'm just gonna like do a full reboot of this game. So we're gonna quit out and then we're just gonna close the game and load back in. I'm just willing to try anything just to get the stupid artifact to spawn and it's just not spawning. So we just go into home screen, closing the game and load it back in. See if this works. At this point, I'm willing to try anything. It's just... It shouldn't be this hard to find three artifacts in one mission, but this game is making it hard. And I need to actually make my way. Oh, why did it spawn me here? I need to make my way back over to this uh, mission. Ideally, I would have been done with this by now, and I will be exploring like a new mission, but. A new uh, district, I should say. This is done. This is one I haven't started. This is the one that I need to do. Okay, let's see if doing a full reboot of the game actually fixes it. And again, like I'm only gonna try anything. You lost this assassin for good. His life is in your hands now. Find him. Let's hope that contains something valuable. Still not 
out here. What the heck is going on? Why is this artifact not spawning? Good. Our techs will start analyzing the data right away. Okay, let me actually look into this real quick because maybe there's something I'm missing. The artifact that spawns is random too, so it can take a while to find the fuck. What a thought. And so it's not not guarantee that you'll get it, so we just had to keep on refreshing it and just trying to get it. Like it's just... why is this mission, this game, just have like so many questionable gameplay designs? Try to get as much data as uh, you can, but remember to leave enough time. Like, I to find absolutely kind of hate. I hate, I really kind of hate the, the fact that some missions, like go up missions, this rift mission, you have to do it multiple times to get everything. Like all the assassin intel and all the gear uh, things. Ask right, again. Especially we won't get it, it's just not cooperating. We're counting on you to save our operative. Somewhere in the simulation. Good. Our techs will start analyzing the data right away. God, that's like the most annoying freaking artifact in the game. This I swear. Hold on, decrypting. I think this data could really help us. Let's just go ahead and complete this uh, thing. It probably doesn't matter if we just quit out or uh, delete it. We're almost done here. The simulation will start collapsing soon. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Assassin position triangulated. Operative located. Let's finally do this Our last, uh, finally do this last, um, uh, uh, mission, is the tower thing. Back to Elix. Get me out of here. So frustrating. Nope, not it. Let's 
try to get as much data as you can, but remember to leave enough time to find the assassin. Keep up the good work. This one's encrypted. Wait, this data comes from deep within the helix. Well done. Okay, I know where one artifact is, but it's possible it may not be there. It actually should be a fair thing. Yeah, so we're actually gonna pull off that thing and try to figure out where the other ones are. First one. See, the other artifact is. Come on, get to it. Right there. Alright. See if we can find this one. The problem is, uh, because these artifacts are just kind of, I guess, inconsistent is a good word for it. It can be kind of hard to, uh, find a location for them. I'm in the wrong one. I thought I selected the, I thought I selected the tower. What the heck? That's why it's not spawning. Like I'm in the wrong one. I, there's I, the, what threw me off was there's supposed to be guards there. Why I went over to the tower, didn't I? This is the one that I want. So I'm so sorry about that. I kind of wasted time. I thought I, I just wanted to select a uh, tower. You don't have much time. Free the assassin and try to collect the data he found. Wait, this data is encrypted. Excellent. This could hold some major Abstergo secrets. Data received. Yeah, well, this one, actually, no, this is the wrong one. It's actually over here. It's not here, anyway. Excellent. This could hold some major Abstergo secrets. Yeah, let's see if we can find that, uh... Wow, this should make our researchers very happy. Let's see if we can find that, uh... It's actually not here, I don't think. Actually, I actually think it may be over here. This 
Yep, we got it. So it's actually on this uh, wall here. Assassin position triangulated. He's there. You have to save him. Hurry up. You're almost out of time. He's out of the system. Good work. Okay, yeah, let's uh, exit the place and we will try and find the other two. Our operative is safe and sends his thanks. We're counting on you to save our operative. Somewhere in the simulation. Excellent. This could hold some major Abstergo secrets. The more data we can get, the better. Okay, so one of the uh, artifacts should be found here, and it's not. So let's just go to the third artifact location. See if we can find it. If not, we'll just uh, complete this. Come on, show the location. Looks like it's up above on the catwalk again. I could be wrong though. Guys, just walk, walking, they're just going around the circle around the map. So I'm assuming it's on the. Wait a minute. There are two on the catwalk. Okay, so let's actually go around in circles. Hold on. Decrypting. Wow. This should make our researchers very happy. Oh, good. Our text will start analyzing the data right away. Okay, so there should be two up here. I think this data could really help us. data to the lab now. This one's encrypted. Wait. Come on. Great find. I've been able to pinpoint our agent's location. Let's hope that contains something valuable. Hurry up. You're almost out of time. Donuts here. Wow. This should make our researchers very happy. I don't think... I don't know where this is. Hold on a second. I need to decrypt it. You found him. Yeah, I don't think it's here. The agent's been recovered. Yeah, let's uh, leave the area and we'll try and find the other one. Thanks to you. Enjoy the reward.
So there are two uh, artifacts that we are missing. One of them is on the shop, another one is on the catwalk. Try to get as much data as you can, but remember to leave enough time to find the assassin. Hold on, decrypting. Okay, well, here's one. Let's uh, go along the catwalk now. Somewhere on this upper ledge is the other artifact. Yeah, I don't know where exactly this thing is, so we're just gonna do like one full loop around this place. Yeah, I think Another we have made puzzle. a loop. Well done. I think we're about to make a loop. The simulation will start collapsing soon. Hurry! Yeah, it's not here. Let's just go ahead and restart. Somewhere on this upper thing is. We're counting on you to save our operative. Somewhere in the simulation. This will come in handy. I need to remember this is the. Yeah, I need to look out for. Great find. Wait. Okay, this is a collectible that we already have. Let me look into that thing real quick. See if I can find any landmarks for it. So it's okay. I know exactly which one it is. Hold on. So I just need to find the box where it's on. That's actually a unique, relatively unique design. So if I can find that box, and I can just go to it rather relatively quickly. I just need to find the landmark of where that artifact is. will start collapsing soon. <sighs> Hurry! This is it. So it's on this box right here. So that's actually very helpful. So let's go ahead and restart. 
and we will just continuously go to this box. The more data you can collect, the better your reward. But the assassin is more important. I think that's actually on that cafe building. Wait a second. This one's encrypted. Wow. This should make our researchers very happy. Another piece of the puzzle. Well done. Hold on. Decrypting. Where is it? I just went around the entire circle. I didn't see it. Here it is. Another piece of the puzzle. Well done. Okay, we have all nine districts. Uh, we have all nine artifacts in Paris. Hmm. Now we just need to finish up, and we will never do a freaking Rift mission again. God, this, mis this mission suck. I've been able to pinpoint our agent's location. Not much time now. One second, my antivirus program just popped up. Oh my god, go away. I don't care about my outdated drivers. My drivers are fine. Are you sure they aren't even outdated? Because I just updated them. Okay, let's go ahead and leave this place and never come back here again. I'm ready to just freaking do some exploring. To you. Enjoy the reward. This just freaking suck. Hey, go ahead and verify this. Progress tracker. Miscellaneous. Artifacts done. Never going back there again. Fuck those rift missions. Okay, so what we are gonna do now is actually clear out another district just so that we are ready to move on for uh, the next main mission sequence. So we are going to fast travel here. We're going to work on clearing out uh, three districts, which are technically one, just three parts of one. I there's a sec. And let's move on. This is honestly what I wanted to do from the if I'm if I'm gonna be honest here. 
I at this point I enjoy enjoy exploring uh Eris in my opinion like more than the story and that's because the story has yet to impress me. The one thing that I don't really care for at this point like I don't care for the repetitious missions, the ones where I have to repeat over and over again. I honestly don't understand the logic of that game design. But I'm actually glad to be uh I'm actually glad to be here exploring. And again, there's probably going to be no uh, story progression in the stream. Stop, Arno. There's probably going to be no story progression in the stream, uh, mainly because of the fact that we had already just completed a sequence. And we have three whole memories of uh, districts to clear out, so. Arno. This is a 100% playthrough, so we'll be getting all the collectibles and doing all the side quests. Nothing tastes better than flat Dr. Pepper. Ugh. That's actually a really cool uh, wide view. We call it that. There is, I, I'm, I'm willing to bet you at a certain point, like, we may be, like, getting a lot of achievements back to back. Because of the fact that I've been trying to be on top of all the collectibles and just getting them as I play. We may, like, get the, there's achievements for collect, opening every single chest, there's achievements for collecting every single cockade, there's achievements for all artifacts, I'm pretty sure, and all viewpoints. I'm willing to bet you at a certain point we may, like, get, like, multiple achievements, like, back to back in one stream. And I always love it when that happens because it just kind of makes it feel like that I'm making a lot of progress. So there will, at the very least, be a payoff for this. What did I do to you that just kind of pissed you off? I was just trying to run past you. This isn't even a restricted area. And we're here. <clears throat> this is a really kind of beautiful. I love like the garden thing in the courtyard. That's just I always just I have an appreciation for that type of thing. I mentioned this before, but unlike a lot of male gamers, uh, my mobile games on my phone 
are pretty much like all renovation games. Like they're all games where I just do puzzles to get points to renovate a uh, like a part of my property. And I always kind of prefer those games over like the stands at World World of Battleship or whatever the heck those uh, that uh, popular game is called. Like I typically just kind of stray away away from uh, violent, I guess you could say, games. And I always prefer to play games that just kind of reward my, me for playing. Cause I like, I like the illusion that my actions are actually contributing to something. Are they still coming after me? Have we lost him? to do your job that person didn't have to die just saying literally the world's worst guards It's kind of a interesting building to navigate. And right here. Okay, so let's go back here, and we will work on clearing out the collectibles. You have to just make sure I cleared out the right districts. Yep. It seems like that the hype of the raid has ended because I'm kind of down. It looks like I'm down to like two people. I'm always, I'm pretty sure that one of those people was me. Cause I'm I'll monitor the stream on my laptop. I'm streaming on my desktop. But uh, that just typically seems to what happens. Uh, what happens is what I'm doing is often like not very entertaining, and most of the times. When, because I'm going for completion, I'm not like playing games that's strictly that doing the story. I'm often like going around doing collectibles. I do understand like that this isn't as entertaining 
uh, as other traditional forms of content, but it is something that I do like to do. So, uh, I do kind of understand that there may be some people that would not be as interested as others in the type of content that I provide, so I'm not really too worried about it. In fact, I'm honestly kind of anticipating the two people that follow me will probably unfollow me in the near future if they haven't done so already. It's just typically what happens. Like, uh, it, it, I think I had like maybe three raids in total in the history of my channel. And uh, every single time like, I gain a couple followers and then I use them, lose them almost instantly. And that just typically happens because uh, people just don't, aren't really interested in completionist playthroughs. So, uh, that's, uh, that's something I kind of come to expect. You know, sometimes the people follow them, it's because they were probably encouraged by the person heading the raid, but I do understand that, uh, that people have their own, like, likes and dislikes, so I'm not... Jay's Templar outfit, nice. So I'm not really too concerned about... I'm not really too concerned about, about like, losing anything. It happens. I do, I mentioned like earlier that when I first started streaming, I wasn't really handling the raids as well as I could have. I'm just trying to explain like what I mean. Uh, the first time that I encountered a raid, I was actually playing the first game I covered on my channel, which is uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And uh, that game was problematic. I encountered like, a lot of issues with copyright because I didn't really understand how copyright worked. But, uh... The other major thing that I had issues with was uh, whenever I noticed a single person were talking in chat, I always tried to talk too much and start communicating with them. And one of the few the first times that I got a raid in uh, my chat, I think I kind of scared them off where I just kind of was talking too much and trying to include them into the conversation. and. Uh, people eventually just kind of left and uh, that's something that I do I do feel like I've gotten better since I started three years ago but still room for improvement Interesting. I, uh... Just kind of realized, uh... Huh. Kind of running out of, uh... Really don't have that many, uh... Those are Domus and we essentially have three left, maybe? Four left. It'll be possible in the near future we will be uh, getting uh, the Nostra Domus and then goes down. Which I'm hoping that the Thomas de Carnelian will be like the best armor in the game. At least I'm assuming it will be.
a lot of people actually praise that as the best outfit of the series, but I just never really uh, got it for myself. Uh, this actually is in the restricted area. I don't need to go up here. <laughs> Hotel de Clooney. Wonder if it was founded by George Clooney. I need to wait until he loses me. Because I won't be able to air assassinate him when he's loaded. There's also guards I saw down the way a little bit. And we're done. That should be all the guards that I need to worry about. Although I think I may need to like go down to the ground floor a little bit. Go ahead and mark that uh, artifact. Let's go ahead and mark this chest. Okay, come on, attack me. Let's go and see if we can pick this chest. It's probably going to be a three-star chest. This is a later game area. Uh, there's three-star chests in every single district, so I guess I shouldn't say that. This is three star chest, can't pick it. It's a 
This is not, this is not a guarded three char star chest that should be pretty easy to get to. Find this apparently. Okay, well, well, then let's climb this building and we will use it as tripwire. We're not going to climb up from that. It's a wire was blocking my head, but why well, give me the option to climb it if I can't climb up? And this is a chest with your lockpick. Oh, I have the wrong belt equipped. In fact, I may actually lose this because I don't have enough lockpicks. Come on. I have the wrong belt equal. Uh, no, not play together. I need to get more. I need a shop. One over here. How long have I had that belt on it? Why did I have it? Oh, right. I think I needed like, more capacity for cherry bombs, so I equipped that. I think that's what happened. No, it's not cherry bombs. It's stun bombs. That's right. Because I uh, needed more capacity for the Bellic fight. And that fight was a freaking nightmare. Not because of difficulty, but because I was just so freaking distracted by the three freaking trolls in chat. Uh. But I'm actually kind of grateful they were kind of hazing me the entire time because it allowed me to try and figure out how to deal with them in the future. Deal with trolls in general in the future. Is this in the... It is in this district. <laughs> oh, but everyone's day is going well. Uh, I actually uh, will need to go to Best Buy soon to get like a new storage protector. Uh, apparently PG&E is planning a power outage on Thursday and because our protectors can only absorb a certain amount of duels uh, I actually 
need to buy a new one so that I don't have run the risk of my uh freaking uh, I don't run the risk of my computer just freaking melting. Come on, just get the freaking lock. Okay, let's uh, go down a little bit. We're gonna grab this chest. This. I'm gonna grab this chest, uh, have that one, kind of work our way down and around. I'm honestly kind of looking forward to the day when my freaking map is clean and free of collectibles. God, like, there's one thing, I've seen so many memes in relation to, like, Ubisoft uh, filling the map with, like, thousands and thousands of collectibles. Uh, and uh, one of the key things that people often cite is this game where they have a screenshot of, like, Thousands of chests and artifacts and cockades littering the map And it was just kind of funny to me because it's just it's In my opinion like Ubisoft is continuously getting worse and worse with the amount of collectibles that they introduce in their games like, it got to, like this it, in my opinion like the collectibles at South Creed Unity is kind of more easily manageable to me but, me personally, I actually got so overwhelmed trying to do all the collectibles in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, for example, that I literally had to stop playing. I could not continue to play through the DLC of Assassin's Creed. I could not continue to play through the game in general of Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla. Because I just got so overwhelmed, I just couldn't play anymore. Unbelievable. Insufferable. Eventually, I will be going back and I will be doing a playthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But I'm just going to say this right now. There's going to be like a lot of streams where I'm only going to be able to stream for like two hours. Or maybe if I'm completely overwhelmed, an hour and a half. And that is simply because of the fact that I just, I, I don't really, I kind of have issues enjoying myself as Askew's Valhalla is like all I will say. I mean, it's not like it's a quote unquote bad game. There's definitely still things to enjoy about it. But it's not my favorite and it's honestly will never reach the top 10 of my favorite Creed games. Probably will always be ranged at the bottom, if I can be perfectly honest here. Uh, so close.
One of my friends actually, uh, he doesn't like trust the validity of my opinion when it comes to Assassin's Creed games because he says I'm quote unquote biased about him. Which I guess is kind of true, uh, but it's true to an extent. Like, I understand both criticisms and praises of, of both sides of uh, every single game, but I still kind of find things I enjoy about every single game. Uh, in my opinion, like, my friend is kind of more biased to uh, Borderlands series, where in his opinion, like, there's no bad game in Borderlands. Uh, but then I am about Assassin's Creed because I can't admit that there is faults with the series, whereas he can't admit that there is faults with the Borderlands series. But it's just like one of our oncoming, uh, ongoing like, feuds we have. I guess like, that's uh, kind of a trademark of like being friends with someone, like, is the fact that you always argue about what you're passionate about. Okay. I think this is in a house makes me think that it's gonna be a locked door. Yeah, it looks like it. I can see a locked door right there. It's an easy locked door. Yeah, I know I have unspent saving points, but I'm saving enough for Master Locks picking. Although I may need to spend those skill points if there's another required ability. Uh, it's three star chest, can't pick it. Okay, well, then let's uh, go over here and grab this one. Hey, we found another assassin, or pair of stories, I should say. Uh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, we actually have a few collectibles. I mean, we did get that, but we had a couple left, but we'll get it done. Let's see, this one is a three star chest, can't pick it. Go over here. I suppose like I keep on saying like I can't pick three star chests. I probably can, but it'll consume a lot of lock picks. I'd rather wait until I get matched lock pick lock picking. Death you can you can if you're good at the mini game. Lock pick three star chest with just level one lock screen. But level one and three star lock picking it's just borderline and impossible. You have to be freaking flawless to be good at that. And I am not good at these, so I'd rather take every advantage I can get. That person was in the tree. That was weird. Like it. I've been streaming for two hours, gonna be streaming for another two hours. And this is the last collectible in this history. At least the last one that we can access. I honestly am trying to like avoid like uh, fighting those enemies because I think I was running into possibly a three star chest, although maybe not. I think I need to climb to the top of this building and free run down. go so let's take a look at the collectible map and see in total which ones we are missing AC unity oops AC unity map 
Namgenie.io And we are gonna get rid of all of these things that we do not need. Okay, so I'm assuming that it says that we're, we have one, uh, one, uh, I can't think of what it's called, uh, Nostradamus here, but I think that's a lie because I don't see it on the map. So, uh, we're just gonna start... With the companion missions, and then we will do the murder mysteries. Because companion missions never take long. It's possible that the Nostradamus mission and this district that says in this district may not actually pop up until, uh, may not actually pop up until we like, get every other one, but it still should appear on the map. We'll find it. We'll do it eventually. And it could be possible that it's mislabeled uh, in the map and it's actually located somewhere else. I don't know. Hey, now let's do this murder mystery. Honestly, the murder mysteries are probably my favorite activity in this game. They're so fun. Of the assassination of Jacobin revolutionary Jean Paul Marat. The body of Jean Paul Marat is slumped in a bath with a small single puncture wound above the clavicle. His body is skin is modeled with pus filled sores. Just waiting for all the entries to go away. He 
Yes, 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 yes. I don't care. Uh, Mirage House lists of Garandan traders and neatly written list of Garandan traders for Lepe, Raphael M, Olivier C, Vincent M, uh, Isaac M, Dennis S, Edward K, uh, Nicholas L, Christoph M, Emily H. Or Emil H. Oh, one of those two. Mirage House, empty bottle of tonic. Empty bottle of tonic from a pot carry named Gregory uh, Brousseau, 20 Rue de la Harpe. Show some courtesy. I must perfectly capture the death of such a hero to the people. I need to focus. Bloody knife, a large kitch. Go away, please. A large kitchen knife, the maker's mark is that of a nearby shop. Clyde Rue Hot Fuel. Uh, Mirage House letter from Charlotte Corday. Providence gives me truth. Providence gives me justice. Providence gives me sanctuary. Providence, there's peace for this life or the next. Charlotte Corday. Okay, there's one thing that we're missing here, and it's apparently in the first two, the second two floors. Oh, there it is. A cop, a friend of the people, the copy of Marasso published newspaper, friend of the people, Lamy du Poupon. And in it, he accuses the Perro family of supporting the monarchy. The scientist Antoine Labossier of uh, selling gunpowder outside of France, and accuses the Grandes of being too lenient in their views of reform. So it sounds like motive for the Perro family and for Antoine Labossier definitely sounds like he has enemies. He's not a popular guy because he's kind of making a bunch of enemies. Why have we been forsaken? He was a true revolutionary. I've seen so many women coming in and out of that house. You'd think he was running a brothel. They rounded up suspects and took them to Saint Germain prison by the gendarmes. They're lucky if they survive the trip. Okay. Oh, what do you think he's doing? Mara was one of my patients. I was treating a horrible skin condition he developed while hiding in the sewers. I'll write you the address if you think you might find something there that'll lead to the swine who did this. Mara spoke often of how he might be made a sacrifice for his people. His prophecy is fulfilled. His prophecy is fulfilled. Very interesting. The way he says his prophecy is fulfilled just kind of makes me suspect him a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
came in here last week and brought out a knife. That ebony handle makes it one of my most expensive, but she didn't care about price. She asked about the address of some hotel. I've never heard of it, though. A Mercantile Providence Hotel handbill. Go away, please. Tips. Go away, please. Tips. I don't care. You're in the way. Travelers, come stay at the convenient hotel. Go away, please. I'm trying to read the clue. Come stay at the hotel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in hotel Providence, clean linens. I'm scared of what? Go away. So frustrating. Dude, I'm tired of all this hand holding. Dude, what the fuck do you want me to do? Look, I'm in the freaking mission. Okay, I get it. Go away, please. I'm trying to investigate and you're cock blocking me. Let her mm -hmm. This is frustrating me. Go away, please. I'm trying to read the clues and trying to figure this shit out. Let her from Why is it doing this? Okay, look at all the clues I have. Great. Go away now. Letter from Simon Erbar, the writing is almost illegible. John Paul, I cannot bear another day. This is getting ridiculous. Go away. I cannot bear another day without you. My is there a way to get rid of tips? Away from you, my love. How long must you be hidden from me? Your love, Simon. Mm. There's gotta be a way to disable tips. I do not want tips. Go away. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh my god, that's not... Mm. Options. Other options. Uh, so, sewer corpse, a body of a young man beaten with a blunt object to the back of the head. He is clutching a wedding ring. Uh, that's so stupid. Like, why is that a thing? Why did they freaking bombard me with freaking tutorials? Like, this isn't my first rodeo. I say that purposefully, so uh, please don't correct me. I know it's pronounced rodeo, but I was making a joke.
burning a random uh, test dummy, it looks like. Archery dummy. There we go, you're finally here. There we go. Hey, I hope you're not scared of me because I just butchered all your guards. I'd be lying if I said I was heartbroken. Jean Paul drove my lover away. So overprotective. And with all the enemies he's made in Paris, I was living in constant terror. He was so obsessed with the revolution, he spent all our money on it. I hardly got the attention I deserved. I suppose he died how he wanted. A martyr. I was sent to his house to kill him, but the job was finished by the time I got there. With what Marat was publishing, it was either him or us. I don't recognize that list of names of Girondin, but you could ask some of our leaders. I'll write you an address. Go there and show the list. Okay. You'll find the crew fits me soon enough. I just wanted his death to send fear into the hearts of Marat's believers for as long as I could. Is that a confession? I did it. Bastard deserved it. He got my father killed. My father was no traitor. That filthy scum Marat was. So there should be no confessing to his crimes. I guess we need to figure out which one is telling the truth. I'm not sure which one to believe like a lot of it sounded like Marat had a lot of enemies So it's entirely possible that people may be taking credit for his murder uh, Just to say that they were the one to kill him because it's just it seems to be like a, his death would have like a lot of bragging rights attached to it I don't recognize that list of names either, but it's quite a coincidence that the first letters of those names spell the word Providence. Providence, huh? That name brought up again. That's brought up again. So I remember that there was a letter he wrote to like Charlotte something that was talking about Providence. It's possible that that Providence, that person, I think it was like Charlotte something. I can't remember what her last name was. I think that she may be the killer because Providence is tied to her. What 
We have one location we still need to investigate, which is the hotel. Plutarch's Parallel Lies, a book titled Parallel Lies by Plutarch. Letter from Charles Corday. A letter written by Charles Corday and addressed to the citizens of France. Addressed to the French and the friends of law and of peace. How long, a miserable Frenchman, will you be pleased with disorder and divisions? Long enough and too long, but have some factious men. Uh, some, some wicked man placed in the interest of their ambition in the place of the general interest. Why, victims of their fury, do you destroy yourselves to establish a desire of tyranny over the ruins of France? The factions uh, explode on all sides and mount in triumphs by crime and oppression. Some monsters drench with our blood, conduct their detestable conspiracies. We labor for our own ruin. More zeal and energy than we have shown in conquering liberty. O oh, Frenchmen, yet little time, and there will not remain of you but the souvenir of your existence. Already the indignant departments march on Paris. Already the fire of discord and civil war inflame the half the half of this vast empire. There is still a means of distinguishing it, but the means must be prompt. Already at the vilest of the wicked mirage, whose name alone presents the image of all crime, and falling under this avenging steel shakes a mountain and makes Danton grow pale. Robespierre, uh, those other brigands seated upon the bloody throne, are enveloped in the lightning of uh, which the avenging gods of humanity own to spin. Without doubt, doubt to render their fall more glittering and to affright all those who would be tempted to establish the fortunes on the ruins of the abused people, Frenchmen, you know your enemies arise. March. Let the mountain and island leave only brothers and friends. I do not know if heaven reserved to us a Republican government, but they cannot give us a leader of the mountain for the master unless in the excess of vengeance. O oh, France, thy repose depends on the execution of the laws. I do not give a blow to them in killing Marat. Condemned by the universe, he is without the law, without tribunal, will judge me. If I am guilty, our cities was, when he destroyed the monsters. O my country, thy misfortunes stir my heart. I cannot offer thee but my life. And I return thanks to heaven and for the liberty which I enjoy of disposing it. No person will lose by my death. I will not imitate Paris, a murderer of Le, Le Pelletier de uh, saint Fargo. In killing myself, I desire that my last sight may be useful to my fellow citizens, that my head born in Paris may be a sign of rallying for all uh, friends of the laws, that the uh, tottering mountain may see its ruin written with my blood, that I may be their last victim, and the universe of vengeance may declare that I have deserved well of humanity. As to the rest, if my conduct should be looked at but with another eye, I am little disturbed by it. My relations and friends ought not to be disquieted. No person knew of my intentions. I annexed my ex uh, track to bapt a baptism to show what the feeblest hand can do, led by a thorough dev devotion. If I do not succeed in my enterprise, Frenchman, I have shown you the road. You know your enemies. Arise, march, strike. Charlotte Corday. It sounds like Charlotte Corday is a person, but I do want to take a look at the database, case files. Because I think she's using a. Uh, I think she's using like a, a pseudonym.
I think they, uh, it's, she's not using a pseudonym, but I think that the murderer is Charlotte Corday. I just don't know if that's like a false flag, like a red herring. It is Charlotte Corday. It's not a red herring. I thought that she would be using the name Providence as a, a uh, I have a sneeze coming. I thought she would be using the name Providence as a uh, fake name. This is what I was looking for. Oh god. That was a long letter that I had to read. Unbelievable. Yeah, I already I turned that back on because I realized that when I had it off, uh, I didn't get the updates. I'm hoping that this thing will trigger the fix. I realized when I had it off, I didn't get the updates for the crowd events, and I wanted to have that up, so. Guys, you had to suffer for a little bit. find the proof it to me soon enough. I just want to be skeptic and peer into the hearts of my arch believers for as long as I could. I kill one man to save a hundred thousand. There is no turning back. Soon I shall accept the embrace of Madame Guillotine. A humble offering to the citizens of France. Is he asleep? Can't say I'm surprised about Citizen Mara. The man had plenty of enemies. I'm surprised he lasted this long. Go ahead and pick a weapon. Not in trouble. It's a tough one, isn't it? Okay, well, that's done. The Hand of Science.
I actually kind of like the design of this district. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's actually, it's a, there's a lot of artists I've been seeing on the streets. So it seems like this is kind of like the cultural district. Of where I hazard a guess. Although I honestly kind of think that the same could be said for the Murray district. Is there's actually a theater found in that thing, but the fact that there's more artists and paintings that you can spot like along the street just makes you think it's kind of Put more catered towards those kind of people, towards artists, rather than towards actors and performers. Are you Martin or Rome or Fran? Swear a loyalty to the rebel. No, 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 need for hostility. Don't make a fat up. Swear. A professor, Simon Marcel, is bloody and badly burned on the face and hand. Charge of glass has splintered to, into his face. Courtyard, bloody Bible, uh, a Bible from the Church of Saint Combe, uh, 49 root of 4, it has a bloody handprint on its front page and an inscription scrolled inside, repent now, Monsieur Marcel, repent while you still grace this earth. Sounds like he has an enemy. Exam of Lionel Viola, Lionel received a near perfect score on his chemistry exam. Uh, Pierre has failed his chemistry exam. A uh, note has been hastily written on the bottom. We shall discuss this for the last time. Failure is not an option. Come speak to me. Oh, I was shocked. He was quite meticulous, but I didn't mind. He'd even given me lessons last night. Professor Marcel was cold, but kind man at heart. I couldn't stand Professor Marcel. He was so strict. I'm sure his office mate, Professor Frisson, is happy he's dead. I know he is. The blood trail looks to have dried to a dark brown. Smash bottle and an explosion shattered the bottles. Lesson plan a lesson plan today's experiment mixing sulfuric acid with ethanol to produce diethyl ether, a fascinating useful compound used as an anesthetic by fuel surgeons. Important. Caution students to never mix nitric acid with ethanol. Stress that an explosion will result. The feeling a student uh, did that very thing. Could be Professor Marcel's experiment went wrong. Just look at that mess. Such a shame. He was a good man. Always made sure to clean up after himself. Not sure how he roomed upstairs with that filthy Professor Frison. That man was raised in a barn. Chemical vials. T uh, table is filled, covered in vials filled with a variety of chemicals. They're all neatly labeled as either ethanol and sulfuric acid, except the largest bottle of sulfuric acid, whose label is crudely placed in peeling. Someone replaced the label. Wow. As a fellow member of the faculty, I'm devastated. As a friend, heartbroken. Professor Marcel and I roomed together for several years. We shared our offices. Of course, we had our differences, but I'm in complete shock. Sure you are. Let's take a look inside your room.
bedroom key, a key with a tag that says office. A bedroom love Blanche Courier Journal, a journal containing an essay by Professor Marcel in support of the findings of Antoine Laurent de Lavoisier against her phlogiston theory combustion. It looks as though he disputes the recent findings of Professor Frizen who supports phlogiston theory. What we can find. There's the chemicals, the enriched list of chemicals that look to be a part of a lesson plan for today. Mariotic acid, sulfuric acid, prison scale, and glass vial, sulfuric acid is purple. Manifesto, manifesto written by Professor Marcel. It begins. As a youth, I may have been immune to logic, continuing to follow the church as a blind sheep to slaughter. But with age, the hand of science reached out to me and freed me from perpetual ignorance. Scout the paper, the word, word sulfuric acid has been handwritten in a new variety of styles. So they're practicing writing the fake label, whoever this is. I'm personally kind of expecting the Professor Frison. May he kneel before the devil and learn the price of his blasphemous teachings. He and his students denouncing our Lord and questioning our holy ritual. Tell you the truth, I'd often hear Professor Marcel and Father Carivo arguing in the street. I did notice the professor was working quite late on my walk home past the school. The candles from his office were lit. Hmm. I actually don't know who this is anymore. Because now I have two suspects. Well, we have visited all the locations. We have found a clue. I am thinking it is either Professor Frison or that father guy. The Hand of Science... Is Professor Frison? As a fellow member of the faculty, I'm devastated. As a friend, heartbroken. Professor Marcel and I roomed together for several years. We shared our offices. Of course, we had our differences, but I'm in complete shock. The man was a coward who'd taken it upon himself to ruin my career. I'm glad he's gone. Jack Hughes. The years I've spent on my research wasted. All wasted. You gonna talk? Quite the experiment, wasn't it? Best not to mess with chemicals, I think. Pick a weapon. I can't help you. Christ. Follow up on what you found. You'll get there. Oh, well, that was interesting. So now we just have two more missions in this district. Let's go ahead and start with the Concordat, Concordacet, Condorcet method.
And uh, then we will do the Carmelite nuns. I wonder if I have a Best Buy in my town. I need to go up to the next town over. Legitimately kind of curious. I said I mentioned earlier that I'm going to buy like another short protector to protect my computer and stuff uh, from an upcoming power outage. Uh, so I was just kind of thinking ahead. Unbelievable. Insufferable. First, they twist my ideas for the Constitution. Now they want to arrest me. How may I help, Citizen Condorcet? I must leave Paris immediately. But you can retrieve my research on the history of political progress. My opponent seized it as soon as the warrant for my arrest went out. I'll be back before you know it. That wasn't that bad. And kind of those guys are dumb, and they weren't alerted by the my senseless slaughter. Probably the other guy is probably gonna be protected by guards, so. though. Condorcet can't even string a sentence together. I don't understand the fascination with him. I see you're right. I wish I could see the look on Condorcet's face when this gets published under my name. <laughs> Would that I could paint him for you. À quoi peut bien rimer une telle procédure? Is Peter Con Condorcet. I don't know why I'm having an issue pronouncing that name. Yeah, I'm going to get a cat. 
how did you do it? My apologies, Monsieur Condorcet, but some things must remain out of your memoirs. Say no more. My thanks. Well, that was interesting. I actually need to stop by a shop before I do this last mission in the district. Move on to this one. I'm actually kind of happy. Uh, that I feel like we're kind of at the tail end of like all this I collect for hunting. We really, after we clear out these other two districts, we really only have one more district to clear out. And then we just had to do a backtrack once we get master law picking. But we're kind of nearing the amount, uh, end of the amount of stuff that we have to farm out. So, first then we'll just be doing story missions, which will probably be more enjoyable. Please, look there. The National Guard is escorting an order of nuns, but the crowd is about to attack. They don't stand a chance. What the fuck, you stupid snipers.
I need some more health. So stupid. Yeah, it should be fine with one smoke. Actually, I use a killing thing. Moving on. Okay, on to the last one. I think that's all of the nuns taken out. Uh, all the, not the nuns. All the guards taken out. 
Let's go back to the nuns with all the guards dead and hope that we will have no problem. Pope Rodriguez, welcome to the party. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. This was honestly what I should have done in the first place. I just wasn't thinking about it. Why these people are targeting nuns? Because I just they're religious, they're not like part of an aristocracy or anything. They're just not rich owned by like faulty diplomats. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Just doing a slow walk. I fear not death in the service of our Lord. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Uh. Am I a slow poke, Rodriguez? For the record, I'm not like making like a uh, racist thing. I'm actually referencing a character from uh, Looney Tunes. Because I think uh, Speedy Gonzalez is Looney Tunes. I could be wrong though. In fact, I usually am wrong. Go and clear out another district. Let's uh kind of go up and around and we'll kind of go into a circle-ish pattern, a clockwise pattern.
There we go. We only have one hour left in the stream, so in all likelihood, we're going to be clearing this area of collectibles, and that's probably going to be it for today. Oh, so close. Again, like I don't know like why. I have no idea why these uh guards are alerting are alerting me or are to me when I'm not even in the area. I was honestly trying to double attack them to be honest, but they still shouldn't have been alerting me when I was wasn't even running. There we go. I've actually been noticing for a while that the armored quote unquote enemies that variant that uh seem to have only come up when I bought the pistol are actually kind of going down a lot easier with my sword. I honestly don't know if that's because uh, I am using like a maximum power, like a five tiered power sword or not, but it is something I've been noticing. Probably a little bit of both, like they're probably... It's probably just either coincidence or it's uh, just because I'm using a more powerful sword. There we go. Grab this chest, and then we'll kind of have beer off to the right and grab these guys. You do need to stop by a market and restock. 
on supplies. I think we're gonna grab this chest and then we'll go up to access the shop and we should be good for the rest. Uh, at least uh, for the time being. It's not in here. It's up there. You're lucky that bed was blocking your shots. Otherwise, I probably would be dead. Let's grab this uh, cockade. I'm Diz Jacobins. Not the right position. Not the right thing. Let's try. Okay, so it's not. Let's try doing back eject. There we go, back eject was one. Climbing up. If you just minding your own business, you wouldn't have to die.
Come on, just get the freaking... There you go. There you go. Let's uh, go ahead and put a marker on this chest. May actually be able to find it easier. And I was right, it is underground. <laughs> At least I was right in my thinking. I didn't actually say it out loud, but I was thinking that it may be underground. Just putting this out there, as soon as we clear this entry to collectibles, I am going to be into the stream. It's not going to be a complete four, out, four hours of playtime, but it's going to be pretty close. You can't stop us. Oh, Christ. That's mine. Fucking prick. God, I hate snipers in this game. They are just freaking obnoxious. They're so broken and overpowered that they're just freaking obnoxious. No other way to say it. Like, snipers in this game are the most deadly they have been in this entire fucking series. I swear to fucking God. They are so annoyingly powerful. I simply cannot leave. Freaking name any freaking Assassin's Creed game, and I guarantee you that the assassin, besides Assassin's Creed Unity, and I guarantee you that the assassin can take more than one freaking shot from a fucking sniper. I swear to fucking God, they freaking are no. The snipers in this game are just too. Fucking powerful. They're so broken. Seriously, just fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. It is most bothersome. Most bothersome indeed. I simply cannot leave without them. Oh. Oh. Rabbit dogs on my watch. Oh. 
Let's try this again. This time it's not get killed by fucking snipers. I'm legitimately kind of mad at that. up there. The hard part is over. I can't stress this enough. I really hate the snipers in this game. Uh, they're so fucking annoying. The thing is, they do not have to be this broken, but they are. Hey, you! Stay there a moment! There we go. Go ahead and disable this bell too. I thought you were a sniper. I was about ready to kill you. Okay, the hard part is over. It's in my opinion it is.
gonna go out the front gate. I'm this area is just fucking stupid and I guarantee fucking to you. I guarantee you that there's gonna be like a co op mission on the high side to this location and I'm not looking forward to it. Three snipers on the roof, snipers in the back. They're all just fucking terrible. Just go in the path of last resistance. Let's go. There's a three star chest, so we're gonna skip it and go straight for this cockade. There is a Okay, uh Monsieur, soyez bienvenu. Go down here. A word, brother? This one we can access. No, this is a three star chest. Okay, we at least got a cockade. There we go. And we 
we got Taylor Sands collects trousers. Take a look at that. star stuff not really that good but I kind of expected that me you should can get three kids in but if something happened where he was interrupted This is a two star chest, so you can pick it. Okay, next we'll grab this chest. Climb up the wall. Arno? Climb up the wall, you've done it before. Arno? What the fuck's going on? Fine, I'll use the gate. So it's a little bit higher. Okay, we just have this chest to get. I just kind of recently reminded of a skit I saw. Uh, 
from this uh, YouTuber. Uh, I see it's from Rooster Teeth, to be specific, and I was just kind of reminded of like. Oh. I was kind of reminded of a uh, Rooster Teeth Death Adventure, which just kind of made me laugh a little bit. And uh, basically, the thing was, uh, th they were talking about things they used to do uh, when they were kids. <laughs> Gavin, the one British guy, was actually in the uh, room. Uh, it was in the thing when one guy said he used to talk like a British person. <laughs> Gavin will say, okay, what are you on about? And I, I was just kind of laughing because I was kind of rem reminded of like the guy's impression of a really exaggerated like British person with like a cockney accent. And it's just... <laughs> oh god. It's, I just kinda, I, I think about like those moments from like those old videos and I just kind of laugh. Pick this? No. That was worth a try. And go down the area that I could possibly lead to the chest. I wouldn't really rule it out. Uh, it does look like it's above ground. You never know. Maybe there's only one entrance to get to that chest, and it's from under. He is having a rag all day. So I think that is it for all the collectibles in this district. Before I end things off, I am going to pull up that uh, map of this area to see if I have everything pulled up in this district. So it looks like there's only three quests in this district, and you have two on the map, so... AC, Unity... The Chemical... Revolution... Just check and see if this has any prerequisites. If it doesn't, we'll just go ahead and mark it on the map.
stop. It doesn't let there is a restricted area in the. Uh, it is. It does. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't look like there is a prerequisite for this mission, so we're just gonna tag it. And uh, it's just more like right here. We're just gonna tag it, and then we're gonna. Uh... Damn it! I need to remember that. We're just gonna tag it, and then we're gonna um, uh, go uh, 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 end the stream. The reason why I was mad that I accidentally opened the database is I I, I uh, read all the database entries that I unlock uh, at the end of a stream only for YouTube. And, uh... Okay, I'm just gonna leave. I don't have enough small bots to deal with all of you. Yeah, it's not here. It makes me think that there is a prerequisite. Oh, you know what it is? It's a DLC. I think it's a DLC. So if we go to match game and add-ons. Well, Secrets of the Revolution. Yeah, this is a DLC that I will need to buy. So, uh, I guess that's going to be something I'm going to purchase uh, in between streams. Uh, so, we are going to be buying some DLC. But, uh, that's going to do it for today. If you are remotely interested in what you see today, all the games I cover on my channel will be for 100% completion. I'm going to be streaming Assassin's Creed Unity yet again next week. Saturday, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be streaming a uh, Sims 3 Passer 100% Completion on Fridays, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'm going to be streaming a Sly Cooper 1 and Thebius Raccoonus on Sundays, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you are interested in games we play for 100% Completion, know that I only go for 100% income statistic, but 100% achievements as well. That's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time. Hello everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to another post stream session where I go over all of the new entries for the database. Today we gotta have a lot of entries we need to sort through because I forgot to clear out the database entries from last week. So let's just go ahead and get things started. First and foremost, meeting one Maribel that we did last week, turn that off.
Assassination of Jean Paul Marat. A summary Jean Paul Marat's revolutionary newspaper, The Friend of the People, outraged many in France. Being an outspoken Jacobin supporter, he had no sources of enemies. This included Charlotte Corday, a mi minor aristocrat from Caen. He had aligned with the Girondists and had grown to believe that Marat was radicalizing the revolution with his inflammatory newspaper. Believing France could descend into, could descend into civil war, she decided to assassinate Marat in an attempt to prevent more bloodshed. He visited, visited his house, claiming to have a list of Girondist leaders for Marat to examine. Marat invited her upstairs, where he was soaking in a tub to soothe the persistent skin condition. Corday listed off fake Girondist names, and Marat began to scrawl them down quickly. Corday seized the opportunity to pierce his heart with the blade, killing him almost instantly. Corday wanted to inflict confusion and fear among the Jacobin ranks, and it worked. Despite the inevitable noise of clues and suspects that surrounds any high-profile murder, the truth was deceptively simple for those who cared. She wrote post up. The list of Girondist names provided by Corday contained a basic code that pointed to the Hotel Providence. Inside one of the rooms was a handwritten confession by Corday that claimed, I kill one man to save 100,000. So I actually didn't, I heard the name Providence, but I didn't register that it was the Hotel Providence I was referring to. I was thinking it was the name Providence, like the name of a person was Providence. Because Providence, I believe, is a common name for woman like I, i'm pretty sure there's some female characters from stories that i've read where the name of the female character was providence i could be wrong though a summary for one too many years professor prison has been working in the shadow of his friend and colleague professor marcel at the chemistry department at typical science school eustace de gary when Marcel published an essay in the Levante, Levant Coureur Journal that supported Antoine Laurent de Lavoisier's discrediting of the phlogiston theory of combustion and publicly refuted prisons' own theories, prisons hit in the jealousy hit the breaking point. Prison had only a few weeks prior published, published a paper supporting phlogiston theory, knowing that Pro Professor Marcel was highly meticulous, Pro prison stole his lesson plan. For the next day, I learned he was using sulfuric acid in an experiment to make diethyl ether. Uh, though this compound is flammable, Frizen knew that Marcel could, would be very careful with the mixture, so while Marcel was tutoring at night, Frizen swapped out the lab's bottle of sulfuric acid and replaced it with nitric acid, a highly explosive chemical. He then relabeled the bottle, having painstakingly studied Marcel, Professor Marcel's handwriting. As a result, the next day, Marcel inadvertently caused a minor explosion in his own classroom. Fairly injured, he dragged himself into the courtyard, all the while clutching a Bible belonging to the Church of St. Combe. Judging by his published feelings towards, uh, towards the Church's priests, he seemed to be implying the Church played a role in his death. The truth was much closer to home. So this is someone that we have read. Here, Bellic is... Uh, also old. Non-juring priests. On July 12, 1790, the, 90, the civil constitution of the clergy was instituted. The legislation determined that God's representatives would no longer answer to the Pope in Rome, but instead to France and its revolutionary government. This would be paid and overseen by the state. As a result, the church became part of a French administration which sought to ensure the loyalty of its representatives to the values of the revolution. Those who accepted this new order had to take a solemn oath to the nation, the king, and the, the law and the king. Uh, many priests did not view the, the exchanges favorably and refused to take the oath. Pope Pius VI sent his condemnation to, of the act the next day. Those who refused the oath were labeled as non-juring or refractory priests. Many refused were physically attacked for their piety to Rome. Interesting. Charlotte Corday, young woman best known for assassinating the radical journalist Jean Paul Marat in 1793. Corday knew that Marat was leading was a leading Jacobin with a right with a hand in the reign of terror and felt his continued provocations would descend to France into civil war. He entered his home under the guise of providing a list of journalists that were planning an uprising in Cain. Upon reviewing and receiving an audience with Marat, she stabbed him in the chest as he soaked in the medicinal bath. 
Or they was executed for the murder four days later. De Jacques Louis David, a highly influential pa painter in the neoclassical style, David was an active supporter of the revolution and a good friend of Maximilien Robespierre. His painting, The Death of Marat in 1793, immortalized Marat at the time as, as a Jacobin martyr. Jean Paul Marat. Marat is a man of many talents, position, politician, and most notably, radical journalist. His newspaper, La L'Ami du People, Friend of the People brought him a great deal of notoriety during the French Revolution as an influential supporter of the Saint Paulettes and the radical Jacobin group. Following his role in the purge of the Girondists, there were some who felt his radical views would descend France into civil war. His notoriety would lead to his assassination on the 13th of July, 1793. This was immortalized in a painting by Jacques Louis David that shows Marat being stabbed to death in a medicinal bath. Marat had struggled with a debilitating skin condition his entire life and would often conduct his affairs while soaking in a bathtub. Uh, interesting practice, but I guess I can understand it. Joseph Barra is old as well as Nicholas Concord Dorset. I'm going to read this just in case. Yeah, I'm going to read this just in case. Marie-Jean uh, Antoine Nicolas de Caritat, Marquis de Condorcet, was born in 1743 and a sexual student. He entered the Royal Academy of Sciences in 1769, where he developed his mathematical theories, working on statistics and probabilities. With the revolution, Condorcet, who was close to the philosophers of the Enlightenment, believed that the sweeping events should allow for better public use of reason. He founded a number of journals and ardently defended the cause of women, affirming that he was in favor of women's suffrage. In 1791, he was elected deputy and became secretary of the Legislative Assembly, where he lobbied for educational reform. He voted against the execution of Louis XVI, which made him a suspect in the eyes of his fellow deputies. On October 3, 1793, a warrant was issued for Condorcet's request, whereupon he went into hiding. He hid for nine months in, in the house of Madame Burnett, it was there uh, that he wrote one of his most esteemed texts, Sketch for a Historical Picture of the Progress for the, of the Human Spirit, published posthumously. Arrested in March 1794, he was later found dead in his cell. It was believed that he had poisoned himself. I believe all this stuff we have read, churches, St. Germain de Prix, uh, prior to the revolution, St. Germain de Prix uh, was a popular era, area for nobility to have their country houses, and the town's abbey was one of the richest in France. The size first church was raised in the year 558. The revolution effectively turned the abbey from church to storehouse, and 15,000 tons of gunpowder were stockpiled in the right refectory. Perhaps inevitably, an explosion destroyed part of the former abbey in August 1794. Not that this prevented it from becoming prison de la Bay, where some of the most atrocious massacres would take place in, 17, in September 1793. Or since the linear time perhaps inevitably exploded when Absario couldn't be bothered to fast check, check their database. Huh. That's interesting. So I think all of the stuff here broke before and just by looking at this uh some of these things, I think that we have read those. Going into general of this Jacobins, a delightful March uh Saint Henri Market was founded on the site of the most famous convent in the history of France, that of the Jacobins, which would be raised to the ground in eighteen oh six. Saint Robespierre, the monastery became the epicenter of the revolution tumult. While all the most all the important decisions were made at the National Convention, the real power lay with the Jacobin Club, so called because of its meeting place in the Church of the Reformed Dom Dominicans, namely the Jacobins. Relieved of, all, of nearly all its monks, this long, huge convent was situated a stone's throw from the National Assembly at the exact location 
of the current Mark St. Honoré. After their initial meetings held at, in the sumptuous library and drawing on their success, the Jacobins uh, occupied the church and installed am uh, amphitheater seating tiers where 1,500 patriots would come and hear the words of B Barnard, Lambeth, Marat, and Robespierre. It was very much a temple of impassioned discourse. Forgive me for this, but for some reason, a French temple of impassioned discourse sounds like the most erotic thing I've ever heard of. There are meetings that we were held uh, there under the watchful eye of the painter Jacques Louis David, who could be considered here through his first photo reporter. He took pictures of Dirty Devil. The building was closed by the convention's troops on 10 Thermidor. It housed an initial market in 1810, dubbed Nerf Thermidor. Observatory de Paris. The observatory was an undertaking promoted by Louis XIV to favor poets as well as scholars. Claude Perrault drew up uh, plans uh, which excluded an iron so as not to disturb the compass, needles, and wood to prevent any fire. The first stone was symbolically laid on the day of the summer solstice in 1667. Five years later, Jean Domin Domin Dominique Cassini climbed the 145 steps of the octagonal uh, south uh, east tower, not that anyone's counting. The observatory cellars lie 27 meters underground to maintain a constant temperature, essential for the smooth functioning of the optical and measuring instruments. Uh, those employed there had to climb down 330 steps to start their work. It can be no small coincidence that the first powered elevators came into being towards the start of the 19th century. Everyone was bloody knackered by then. Beyond the cellars lie the catacombs. Repeatedly handed uh, down from father to son, the position of director of the observatory would remain within the Cassini family until 1791. They would be succeeded by D. La Land, uh, La Barrier, and Arago, among others. Sorbonne. The Sorbonne was so famous that its founder, the Honorable Robert de Sorbonne, chaplain of Louis the Ninth and first advocate of culture for all, is often overlooked. Isn't that disgraceful? It would be like someone walking around Hastings and not spending every waking moment thinking about me. Without well, the ego on you, Sean Hastings. Having trouble to become a doctor of theology, he sought to uh, facilitate the education of underprivileged children like himself. St. Louis offered him a house on Rue Pompeglu. Um, I don't know how you pronounce that along with a few of his own outbuildings, where Sorbonne subsequently built his school. Three centuries later, Richelieu uh, observed that the Sorbonne was falling into ruin and set about renovating it. In 1629, he undertook to rebuild this entire establishment, provided a place was left for his tomb. This was duly done. The subsequent masterpiece built by Girardin was uh, carefully protected during the Revolution, then in 1816, re-established in the chapel of the Sorbonne once we return to Louis the 15th, 15th century, wait, 15, 15, 17, 18, uh, Louis the 18th has been made official. By the end of the 19th century, the old Sorbonne of the Cardinal was rebuilt and extended. The Sorbonne has often been the uh, subject of derision since Renaissance scholar Rebelais uh, made reference to bugs called Sorbonnards uh, that uh, devour the intelligence of thinkers. I don't know what that is. Hotel particulars, we have the Hotel de Cluny. An outstanding example of medieval household architecture in Paris, the Hotel de Cluny was built at the center of the Gallo-Roman capital. Vestiges of a Roman thermal bath still abut. I think that's supposed to be still about the hotel. The uh, abbot of Cluny purchased the site to transform it into a townhouse in 1334, but it was Jacques the, the uh, Amboise who turned it into what was essentially a luxurious guest house in 1485. One of his occupants, uh, occupants was Mary Tudor, the young widow of Louis XII and Francis I, hearing that she uh, may uh, might. Uh, gave birth to a son who would take his place on the throne and kept her under surveillance here. Such caution was justified. He found her in the arms of Duke Suffolk, her military attaché. She was promptly married in the chapel, then since packing with her husband on the first boat to England. The building is now a charming museum renowned for its collection of tapestry.
So we do have one new palace. We have the Palace of Luxembourg. In 1612, uh, Mary de Medici, widow of Henry IV of France, purchased houses there from the Duke of Tiny Luxembourg to build a sumptuous palace the designs of French architect Salomon de Brosse. She wanted to call it the Medici Palace, but the Parisians who hate her kept using the name Luxembourg. Yes, yeah, she's one of those Medicis, but 100 years after Etienne knew them. Huh. That's funny. In 1750, uh, the Luxembourg became the first uh, museum in Paris where... Uh, and so, the reason why I think that's funny. There's a location in this thing called the Medici Tower uh, near the uh, north part of uh, Paris. And uh, I wondered if that was connected to the Medici family in history too. And I guess that's confirmation. In 1750, the Luxembourg became the first museum in Paris where visitors could view the paintings from the Royal Collection. In 1793, the Luxembourg uh, Palace was briefly converted into the Maison National de Sorete, or National Prison. <clears throat> Danton was detained there before being sent to the guillotine, having done the same for himself for so many of his enemies. Our special day there, of course, he wouldn't expect an obstetrical historian to be sympathetic to an uh, assassin sympathizer, would you? Also, I think it's fair to say that Danton kind of deserves it. In 1801, Bonaparte offered the building to the French Senate, it, the function uh, it still serves today. Uh, transformation overseen by architect Alphonse de Gazors in 1836 uh, modified the uh, overall structure to the extent that Mary de Medici would probably not have recognized her former abode. The garden, however, is a favorite among Parisians. Okay, we have misc, we have events, got the Mary bow in old. That's an intel should be new. A archive conversation, 30 May 2014, a transcribed conversation, a telephone conversation between Miss Melanie LeMay and Dr. A. Grammatica. LeMay, Alvaro is Melanie, Grammatica. Of course, hello, I'm glad you caught me. I was about to head into an experiment. I mean, well, just wanted to give you an update. The list of sage references I gave you last week. We found a few more leads I want to investigate, but one and I want your opinion. America, great, shoot. I mean, okay, uh, we checked the sample 17 lineage. Sample 17 is Desmond Miles, like you asked. Uh, so, uh, we checked the sample 17 lineage, Desmond Miles, like you asked, but we didn't find anything promising until we went back to Europe in the fifth. Century CE, faint echoes of a bloodline sage, that's around the height of the Hun Empire. Now that's a game that I wouldn't mind playing, like that far back. A oh, grammatica, hmm. It will be a difficult. It will be difficult to find an intact sample that far back. Lemay, yeah, I thought the same. Let's see. Another sample we checked came from a local Montrealer. That sample revealed an ancestor named Arnold Dorian from Revolutionary France. Arnold wasn't a sage himself, but initial reports suggest he may have come into contact with one. Grammatica, hmm, that's promising but not ideal. I'd rather find a bloodline sage, not someone who met one. What else? I mean, I uh, one more. A singer named David Jones from England, mid-20th century. No further details on this one, sir. So, Grammatica, better, but the name David Jones, that could be one of any one of a thousand people. LeMay, that was my worry too. Grammatica, let's look into the Frenchman. Possibly we could find something. LeMay, good, I'll put him on the back burner though. We have other leads I like to follow first. Grammatica, whatever you think is best. best. LeMay, thanks, Alvaro. I'll keep you posted. Public Relations Primer, Evolution by Natural Misdirection of Public Impression Management Primer by Dr. Alvaro Grammatica. In a lecture delivered last autumn at the Council's Annual Strategies and Tactics meeting, I opened with a simple question. How much should the public know about the truth of human origins? The discussion that followed by myself and Mr. Ricken, uh, that's Alan Ricken, was lively and covered a broad field of topics. In general, consensus was reached in the following point. It is not in the public's best interest to have any confirmation whatsoever of the hyper species uh, that predates our own, uh, that predates our own, it, to uh, possibly confirm that our own species was quite literally born in an ancient laboratory operated by a race of intellectually superior hominids, hominids would have a corrosive effect on society as a whole. The damage it could do to a basic uh, social cohesion would be catastrophic in many parts of the world, 
and it would jeopardize uh, the uh, success of many of our ongoing information campaigns. If we not proof of the precursor species were to rise above the net level conspiracy tense theories, our preliminary studies indicate that non-religious and liberal citizens of faith will likely go to great lengths to discover more about the strange and startling facts, while those with fanatical devotions to various faiths will likely a. Finally oppose such basic truths with potentially destructive or dangerous consequences, or b. Transfer the full bounty of their faith onto the precursors. I've already seen the latter scenario play out uh, through reports of a group calling itself the Instruments of the First Will, a radical group of theofascists who preach, among other ideas, the natural inferiority of our species in the face of any superior species. The Instruments of the First Will, one little thing I would actually kind of bring up, this is actually, I believe, the first time they were mentioned in the mainline Assassin's Creed game, but they were actually had an important role in uh, the comics of the series. But they were actually, I believe they were the group responsible for uh, kind of bringing to life uh, either Minerva or Juno, who is kind of revealed to be like in the ether uh, at the end of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And it was actually Desmond Miles' son, uh, a new assassin, who was actually put a stop to their plans. But this was only shown in the comics. It was not shown in the game. It probably never will, but it is kind of interesting how they bring up that group. The group that was... I kind of worship the Isu as gods and try to resurrect one. To wit, dedicated disinformation campaigns to foment, encourage, and sustain an array of conspiracy theories tangential to actual historical and scientific facts are a necessary component of keeping the existence of both the HSD fossil record and our genome sequencing projects a secret. Current ongoing disinformation uh, campaign codenames include Hot or Not, Global Warming and Climate Change, Operation Climate Cosmic Turtle, Geocentricism, Fair Change, Evolution by Natural Selection, G2FO, uh, G- uh, TUFO, Extraterrestrial Life, Fool's Gold Standard, Federal Reserve System. We propose a system of coordination between some of these campaigns to ensure that all interest in precursor fossils and sites is misdirected down harmless somewhat fantastical avenues. Further recent uh, efforts have been made to paint our adversaries in less than positive light in order to give their sporadic uh, interactions with the first sieve a crazed cultish veneer. Last year, Abstergo Entertainment opted to pass over various assassin biographies as too controversial for the mass market. However, uh, executives at Abstergo Industries uh, countermanded these decisions feeling that it was in our best interest to turn the public against the assassin cause instead of pretending they do not exist. The truth will out as it always does, so it is critical that we are in control of the narrative when it does. The first handful of these virtual experiences will debut soon. Keep in mind the vast majority of conspiracy theories, while aggravating to our rational minds, are a critical part of our governing policy. There is a certain delicious irony and the fact that adherence to these various theories, men and women who believe themselves to be courageous archaeologists of hidden truths, are in fact our first and best weapon against actual uh, fact-finding and rational thinking. The noise they generate in the pursuit of so-called simple truths through grand unifying theories of everything is a necessary component in our bid to obscure the incredibly complicated and interconnected nature of actual history. Simplicity, therefore, is a national necessary component of all disinformation. Swear by it. Therefore, a always encourage inve- uh, de- investigations of trivial but anomalous data points. B direct attention towards specific uh, instances and away from general trends and patterns. C always insist that some simple truth is being obscured, even when the reality of the situation is incredibly complex with many interdependent facts. Additional business. We settled on the name Phoenix Projects are codenamed for the HSD Genome Sequencing Endeavor. In light of this, our, uh, our uh, uh, disinformation campaign to obscure the true facts of this endeavor will be known as Phoenix Rising. The next council meeting has been pushed forward by six plans to ensure progress in this most important endeavor. We'll be meeting in Brussels, Belgium on June 6, 2014 to coincide with the other events. Since most members of the council will already be pregnant, present, I almost just said will already be pregnant. 
that's a really bad Freudian slip. Until then, contact Leticia if you have any questions. Potential Sage List. Level 5 security clearance only, and it is a federal and international crime to read or possess these documents without proper authorization. You and Charter, Special Appendix, NBO, and Corporate Benevolence Favors. Go ahead and add copy because I'm reading it anyway. Violators will be published to the full extent of the law. Alvaro, here's an updated list of genetic memory fragments and textual sources that refer or belong to known hyper hominids, aka sa sages. Please note that this list does not imply that we have sufficient genetic memory data to directly access these experiences, only that we have located potential hotspots for investigation. There have been a handful of other references to sages and so called immortal beings throughout history, but I have not listed those with insufficient specificity. The uh, list is in reverse chronological, chronological order, order, meaning that in the present and receding into the press. Beginning in the present and receding into the past. John Stanis, 116, August 1975, status subject deceased, samples extracted, body preserved. David Jones, nationality possibly English, born mid 20th century, status unknown in the 1970s and 80s, and few scattered reports of a man resembling a state plague surface. He was said to be otherworldly, extraterrestrial, and possessed by multiple personalities. So far, these reports have proved inconclusive. Name unknown, nationality Indian, born 1885, approximately 1885, India. Status, we have a lengthy series of memories that take place from the creation of the Indian National Congress, which the sage was reported to repair. As yet, however, we have had no indirect confirmation. Our search is ongoing. Name unknown, nationality French, born early 18th uh, century. So that is, oh, that's uh, Stramon, uh, France. Status, we currently have enough genetic uh, material extracted from samples 123535, uh, 422356, and 7775612 to adequately investigate this lead. Our search is about to ramp up. So uh, that's, uh, I'm assuming this one is supposed to be uh, Germain. Uh, John uh, Bartholomew Roberts, uh, born uh, 1682, well status killed and disposed of by the assassin Edward Kenway in 1722 off the coast of Africa. His body was never recovered. He is currently searching for genetic memories belonging to members of his crew and those who knew him well. Thomas Cavanaugh, born 1652, Boston uh, status. Our knowledge of Mr. Cavanaugh comes from our research into the life of Edward Kenway from a series of letters collected over an eight-year period in the early 1700s. It is believed Mr. Kavanaugh passed away somewhere on the northern shores of Jamaica at some point during this around 1706, that no intact genetic memory has been recovered from the sage or from people who knew him. Name unknown, born late uh, 14th century China, Hongwu Emperor's reign. It has multiple references taken from three separate text sources. Inscriptions of a probable uh, sage living in the early period of the Ming Dynasty. All three sources refer to the sage as a Confucian uh, scholar and a member of the Emperor's Court. Name unknown, born 6th century Byzantium under during Justinian's reign. That is a fragmented series of memories from a, a Christian bishop pointing to the probability that a member of his congregation was a sage. They are currently mining for further memories from this period. The Wanderer, born Judea, status believed to have encountered Christ. On route to Golgotha. All references to the sage are anecdotal, however, awaiting further information. Huh. Reconnaissance memo. Doctor, your concerns about uh, the regarding the observatory have been noted, and I am inclined to agree. agree. However, my status as guardian requests it requires that I first confer with my two colleagues, at which point we will pass our judgment on to the general of the cross. If he or she has any concerns with your proposal, you will be apprised within the week. Be here nothing by August 2nd, 2014. Proceed as you excuse me. Proceed as you see fit. If you do proceed with your plan, I will contact our Grand Master in Cuba, Mexico, and the United States to get a read on the situation. With luck, the sites will be undisturbed. It's probably wishful thinking, and there's a good chance the assassin still has some sort of surveillance over the site. As we discovered last year during in the course of our Kenway investigation, the Caribbean Brotherhood appointed a small faction to protect the location at some point on 1723. 
We don't know if their stewardship is still ongoing. To echo your sentiments from our last discussion, I too believe the missing blood vials are of critical importance to our current Phoenix project. Okay, and those will be a boom, but we should not ignore the value of the schools as well. And can he hands the technology found in the schools could lead to another organization cracking the genetic memory code. Our estimates say that we control the animus technology for 13 years at best, but it's only a matter of time before our technology is stolen, compromised, and distributed. We know the assassins have long had access to critical pieces of our technology, but they have not cracked the puzzle of the surrogate DNA, how to extract it, how to sequence it, etc. We need to ensure that it does not happen for a long, long time. Then there's that other problem. But I'm waiting for a full analysis to fully understand exactly what she is and what she is capable of before going into panic mode. At the very least, we know she is capable of rather grand disruptions around the world to keep your security tight. In touch, AR. What she is doing. So... I think that by she, they're referring to either Juno or Minerva, who is kind of revealed to be like sort of like in the... Uh, they call it the Grey, but from what I understand, it's actually like the internet. Uh, I think that they're referring to Juno or Minerva uh, because she is currently a problem at this particular time. time. A reconnaissance report uh, filed by Oslo Berg, uh, 23 May 2014. Fight in the Kingston was smooth, customs of breeze, no hassle. Calling DM to confirm uh, expedition on the 25th is a go with update VR on schedule. 24 May. Travel from Kingston overland to Montego Bay. Travel time 5 hours. Multiple stops. Meet GM at his home. Dinner at 19 uh, hours 30. Which is... Seven thirty. That's late dinner. Discuss plans. Have for heading for bed just before midnight. Twenty five May set out this morning at ten thirty a.m. in three separate trucks. This out location is on geotag data taken from multiple sample seventeen archive files. He fixed on a position within twenty meters of latitude eighteen point four four six eight four six, longitude negative seventy eight point zero zero four zero eight six. The area is lush with vegetation and trees with a few well-maintained roads nearby. The site he has settled on is a few hundred meters from the nearest road. 11 hours, 43 minutes. That's 1.43. After one hour of searching, we have a location. Actually, no, that's, uh, that's 11.43 a.m. Uh, we have uh, located an earthen mound whose layout bears some resemblance to the structure observed in the Kenway footage presided, provided to us. Digging will commence at 1 p.m. 18 hours, 46 minutes, that is 6.46. And made, uh, p.m. And made visual confirmation that this site bears traces of precursor architecture. However, we have also come to the conclusion that the magnitude of our task is too immense for manual tools and have made arrangements for two backhoe loaders. Delivery expected tomorrow morning, no later than 10 o'clock, 10 hours, or 10 o'clock. 26 May, back on loaders have arrived late following a confrontation with the proprietor of the rental company. Our scanners found active GPS devices in, on the vehicle to safeguard against theft, no doubt. We requested that the, the devices be turned off, citing sensitive architectural con concerns. The man refused. A decent quality quantity of cash reversed his objections. Digging began just after lunch. 27 May, we have located what appears to be the entrance to one of the false rooms of the compound. Nothing of import was located there. Save a small glass bottle dating from the late 17th uh, or early 18th century. The bottle is empty. We will refocus our efforts tomorrow. In the meantime, however, we go on this. Based on our examination of the accumulated vegetation and various soil sort of samples, we have come to the conclusion that this site was deliberately buried between 200 and 230 years ago. None of the accumulated earth here is natural. This may suggest a radical shift in the assassin's stewardship strategy or a necessary uh, re response to increase Templar interest in the site. 28 May, multiple setbacks are back home in need of repairs this morning. Then heavy rain for a brief spell, mud everywhere. 29 May, progress at last. You located the primary ent entrance to the observatory. A dozen or so, or so meters to the west of the first false entrance. 
Fortunately, we were not able to proceed farther than five meters as an impenetrable, impenetrable amount of rubble and stone had blocked our entrance. 30 May, 10 straight hours of moving rubble and no wind in sight. The preliminary diagnosis is, is dire. Based on the lay of the land west of our dig site, uneven yet with uh, a de distinct declivity, averaging 4 degrees for almost 100 meters, I've come to suspect that most, if not all, of the observatory suffered a catastrophic collapse at some point in the 18th century. When I account for its burial, and why no further mention of it is made in our own archives, past the beginning of the 19th century. More excavations will be necessary, but on the scale, the skeleton crew is not equipped to handle. Arrangements are being made as of right. Archive conversation, 6 August 2014, a transcribed telephone conversation between Miss Melanie LeMay and Dr. A. Grammatica. May, Alvaro, Grammatica, Melanie, what's happening? LeMay, just an update on where we're at. We've been seeing periodic attempts by outside sources to access our storage, our storage servers, but we've been able to shut them down almost totally. Grammatica, shut them down, and what does that mean exactly? LeMay, to prevent them from gaining access to our offline servers and those that do get through, we flush them out as quickly as possible. Grammatica, hmm, these are those decoys, Miss LeMay. LeMay, decoys, Grammatica. The group we're dealing with is too talented and persistent to be stopped by the basic security sweeps. As you're seeing, are just decoys to take your eyes off the actual intruders. LeMay, okay? You know something we don't? Grammatica, I know a lot of things your team does not. LeMay, so what do you suggest? Grammatica. We have a proprietary detection system that can find and flush rogue drivers. It will take a few days to implement, but when we do, you'll have the tools you need to keep your data safe, provided you have the metals you use it properly. May, of course I do. This is our research, our data. I won't let anyone compromise it. Grammatica, even if it means fighting dirty? LeMay, I'm not sure I understand what that means, but I am committed. Grammatica, Melanie, the rogues infiltrating Helix are using it to sequence genetic memory just as we are. Capturing and extracting them from Helix will almost certainly cause irreparable and hippocampal shock or sudden death in some cases. Are you comfortable with the idea of killing potential intruders? Long pause. Ms. LeMay? LeMay, I'm here. Sorry. Pause. I will do what it takes, Doctor. This is a top secret material. We can't risk it falling into the hands of terrorists. Matica, precisely. I'm glad to hear you take your job at, in international security so seriously. Would you object to us sending over one of our technicians to handle logistics? LeMay, absolutely not. America, good, we'll be in touch. LeMay, of course, anytime. And Mortar 2. The Rome Forces invaded France in 19... Actually, this is old. We have seen this before. Okay, this is going to be something that we... Yeah, we have seen this one, but we haven't seen this one. In an unprecedented move, the uh, assembly have decreed that Sister Mirabeau will be given a state funeral in the Abbey Church of St. Genevieve. Now to be known as a pantheon, it will serve as the final resting place of the heroes of the revolution. Once a, beloved, uh, once a king's minister of the treasury and much beloved public figure, Jack Snacker is leaving Paris in disgrace. His attempts at reforms, as popular as they once were, came too late and changed too little to avert the recent upheaval. We say good riddance to this Swiss meddler. Lafayette acquitted. Despite massive pressure from the, more, the people, the assembly has voted in its favor. Citizens are encouraged to respect the law. Many members have since been abused and intimidated, the, which, though natural considering public opinion, must end. Our brothers Elige are once more defeated by the feudal uh, tyrant Habsburgs. They will not quit, however. The spirit of liberty once tasted by the people cannot be suppressed. France, here's your cries, brothers. Le Chevalier, Dion, showmen, and swordsmen, swordswomen, we are at loss for words. Should these pages be uh, seeing the glory of his exquisite taste in dresses or the uh, unique finesse of his deadly swordplay? Le Chevalier, Dion has dumbfounded us once again. So that is all of the new entries for the database, and that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time. Oh, before I end things off, we're really making that much progress. We're currently at 47%, only went up 2%, but we can be proud of the progress we made.